Two years ago, about 10,000 Ugandans who are residents at Huha Parish in Kikube district at the shores of Lake Arbat lived in a miserable life. River Masika was the source of their drinking water, which according to health experts was contaminated, causing many of them to suffer from waterborne diseases. People are appreciating because at first, before this water came, we had a challenge of waterborne diseases which could come every year, maybe twice during rainy season. Cholera, blasia, and the typhoid was too much. As a way of giving back to the community, the China National Offshore Oil Company, Sinok, a Chinese oil farm, has constructed a water purification plant at Masika River to save the communities here. Whenever Kosino comes to the community, they would request for the clean water. The plant is a 1.7 billion shillings project. The Inspector General of Government, IGG Betikamia, visited the area to educate Ugandans on the fight against corruption. It's like an agreed percentage in the contract. Is there a provision for that? Yes. And what's the percentage? So it's a program, really. We sit and say, okay. There is a lack of water in the community, so we should do the water. All that is HIV, you must do an HIV program. The system is powered with a solar plant which generates energy to pump the clean water into the communities. The majority of the locals here are fishermen who originally occupied 17 villages, but due to the oil project activities being undertaken, government acquired part of the land where the Kingfisher well with 31 wells drilled here. Some of the project affected people opted for cash, while others accepted to be given complete houses, which are more decent than the mud and water structures that they owned before. Unfortunately, all those who were given these houses are now renting them out to the staff working in the oil projects. Some opted to go back in building mud and water structures. They have rented them out. These are workers. These people you see here are workers. The government through the World Bank constructed a market in the area to enable the local community also tap into the benefits emerging from the oil sector. These formed themselves into a circle in which they received over 3 billion shillings. However, the residents now say their readers swindled the money. I tried to ask the chairman of Ukola to bring for us, their, to, to, to make for us accountability of that money. He have refused. They are, they are, they are bought their, their vehicles. They, are, they, are, they, are, they open, the, they own businesses. He's, he's called the Baruanga Issa, chairman of Ukola. But when we tried to ask him accountability, the man decided to, decided to start, start abusing us. Uh, refusing or making accountability for us, it was about our problem. Releasing a bank statement to us to show how much money we have on our account, still was a problem. So that one brought problem to our community and the concerns. For her part, the IGG has directed our officials to investigate the matter. I want a report in two weeks. Jingo Francis, NTV.